Hi guys, Janet here. So recently I have picked up some new lipsticks uh, from Rimmel. Um, they are supposed to be kiss proof, waterproof, drink proof, absolutely everything proof. Um, and you know me, I like to try out new lipsticks and everything like that. I, I swear I have about 50 odd lipsticks in my collection um, and I couldn't help myself but to get two more. So I picked up two shades um, in Firestarter and Rose and Shine. Um, they are Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colour um, and like I said, kiss proof, everything else proof. Um, so we are going to try these out today and um, I'm actually just getting ready for work. My hair looks an absolute mess. Um, I decided to apply some coconut oil on my hair yesterday because it's super dry. And I woke up this morning with an absolute grease of a hair and I just don't have enough time to go and wash it. So dry shampoo this baby and shove it up and I will have to just sort it out when I get home. So because I am getting ready for work, I decided not to obviously glam myself up and everything like that. Um, so I think probably with this look, the Rose and Shine colour will probably go best. Um, instead of the fire starter. I will obviously give you swatches of both the colours. I think they have around 10 colours in the collection. Um, a lot of them are like nudie pinks. There's obviously the new browns, um, purples and reds. Okay guys, so here are the two swatches of these lovely, lovely colours. Um, the first one you can see here is the fire starter and the second one is a rose and shine. Um, I feel like the red one's a really nice colour, but I do actually prefer the rose and shine, but, you know, they are very, very different colours, they will go with very, very different looks. Um, so yeah, we're just going to try that on today, and I will give you updates on how they wear, and whether they dry your lips out, and how long they actually do last. Okay, so like I said, I will be popping the rose and shine colour on today, um, so let's just get into it. I do not actually like the um, applicator as much, it's, it's kind of like a triangular shape, it goes into really thin, but we're just going to see how it applies. Okay, so I do think the colour is really, really nice on it, um, but I can already see when I look in the mirror that it is getting quite dry on my lips. It's obviously not dried down completely yet, um, but it does, you know, when it kind of like pulls on your lips a little bit when you talk, um, so that's what that feels like. Um, so hopefully my lips will not be completely dry after this, um, but yeah, I will give you updates. Um, on how this wears. Um, by the way, I think the lipsticks are only five ninety nine at the moment as well from Rimmel, so they are quite cheap. Um, they're not, you know, overly expensive. Um, I feel like you could have a little bit more of a colour range to them um, because you do have quite a lot of like the pink nudes, um, which are really all similar to each other. Um, but this one is actually a really, really nice shade. Um, so yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. Hi guys, so I just finished work, I just got home, um, my lips just feel disgusting, I mean the colour is still there, it's not, you know, awful, it doesn't smudge as much, I mean I had it on for four hours, just over four hours, um, but it just, it feels really dry, I feel like I need to moisturise the absolute hell out of my lips right now, um, but yeah, I mean for five ninety nine it is a nice lipstick, but you will probably have to reapply. Um and I just feel like it's you know when it kind of crystallizes around like the inner part of your lip. Um so it's done that as well. But overall it is a really, really nice lipstick. I probably will be putting it in again. I do really want to try the red one out and see what that looks like on. Um but yeah, until next time then. Bye guys!